How do we update the status of our story? I've been asked by this uh, new Scrum Master to be, I'll send the email and they asked me, Aisha, I would really like to know how do I update the sprint status? How do I update the story status? I always hear people talk about updating status on Jira. So how do we do this on Jira? So I'm gonna to touch on three different ways or maybe even more ways on how we can update status on Jira. And if you're interested in mentorship, do not hesitate to email us at admin at asiasprompting.com. All right, let's get back to the video. So looking at this is the product backlog, right? And in the product backlog, we have all of our story basically saying in to do, right? So basically it's not being worked on. And sometimes too, I know at work, my Jira, when I look at my product backlog, I do not see the status right away. But there's some configurations you can do on your board that you can include the status in the new, like in the working, like in the homepage, I would say, uh, where you can actually see the status. But I know sometimes at work, you might not see this. You might have to open the tags for you to see the actual status of the story. But there's a way you can do this, right? Maybe I can show you guys in the next video in case you go to your space, you want to know the actual status, the assignee in one glance. I can also show you guys how to do that. So looking at this story, like for example, this story, this is the product backlog and we have, this is the sprint backlog right here. And if I look at this, for example, Jira Roadmap 4, this story is saying that the status in to-do. So basically to-do means that it's not being worked on. It's not yet started to be worked on, right? So I can, when I further open this story in full, it's gonna show me the workflow that's set up in my Jira board. And each workflow is different based on your company, based on your how your team set it up, based on the whole um, way how you guys should be completing your work, right? So that's very important for me to say that. So then for me to look at the workflow in this story here that says to do, I have to select this drop down arrow. Let me move this so you guys can see. After select this drop down arrow, if I select this drop down arrow, I will see the statuses. We can put this ticket. So this story, that for example, this story MS four four six is a story, right? So this story, I can either move it to ready, block, in progress, and done, right? So one way for me to just update this story is just to click here. The drop down arrow. I'll walk to you. Can do the same thing. Just click the drop down arrow. You click the the workflow. And you move this to in progress. So as soon as you do that, then it automatically change. Basically, it goes from to do and now it's in progress, right? And if you notice, this one, this was actually in the product backlog. I did not assign this to a sprint. It's actually still in the product backlog. So you see, it went from being in to do and still remained in the product backlog and it's still in progress. Because I actually went to the work workflow and click the different statuses it can be on and then move it from to do to in progress, even though it was not within an active sprint. Yes, you can actually update the story even though it's not in an active sprint. That's one way. Other way too for you to do this is basically to go to the actual active board, right? So when I go to our board right now, for example, I have all these stories in our board and we have all the stacks on that to do, right? Currently, this is the active scrum board, and we have all of these things to do, and I have this in progress, and these are the different statuses I can move it. So each column, each is status, right? Based on the workflow that I just showed you guys, right? So we had the block, we had in progress, in QA, and done. So they also have different status category that take for different conversation. So for me to update this now, I'm just gonna click, let's say, for example, I'll update this one, learn and uh, learn Jira tools. So I can just click on that and move it to in progress, you know, and right there. So by clicking and dragging, so by you clicking it and dragging it, you move it to that status, right? So then I will click it from here and I just drag it. I can do the same thing for this. I can just click and hold and drag. And you see how it's just highlighting to the blue, right? It's highlighting blue, meaning that this story can go here. And if you notice, this, this QA1, it's not highlighted. It's not highlighted for me to move this story from me in to do to in QA, but it's highlighting for me to move the story to in progress and not in QA. And the reason why you cannot move this story, let's say from to do and into QA directly is due to the transitional rule I put in place. 
And sometimes you might work in a space in an environment where your your company is very structured and everyone is aligned and you are more like hopefully like more mature team where you will see sometimes a Jira admin will put in rules as you move in stories to column to column. It should be like a rule, like for example, I put a rule in this board that if story did not go into in progress, meaning dev in progress, I do not expect that story to go in QA in test. So the story must go into in, in QA, in, I mean, in progress before, after it's in progress, then I can now move it to QA. So that's the transitional rule. And you might see this a lot. So sometimes people will send you say that, oh, my ticket cannot be, my, I can't update my status. I can't update my status. Then you have to ask like, okay, how are you moving your tags? And if you notice that they're having some blocking moving up and down, that's due to the rule play, already placed in your Jira board. So now that I have this story now that I've updated this from in, in, in to do to in progress, I have to move the story back because my, my students will kill me. <laughs> All right. So for me now to move the story, I have to make it, I have to highlight. So for me now to move the story to in QA, it's already in progress. So now guess what? If I select highlight, look what happened now. So now I'm able to move it to in QA, right? Because after it's already touched in progress and the in QA is now highlighted. So that means now I can move it to the next status, which is going to be in, in quality analysis, in QA. That's what that means. So then if I let it go, then it's going to stay there. If I let it go in this way now, if I'm trying to move it and not follow the workflow configuration, Jira itself is going to give you warning, right? It says that, you cannot move this issue to this column due to the workflow configuration or permission, right? So meaning the rules that already set in place, due to that, I'm, I'm, I'm unable to move it to the status. So that's why it's very important for you to understand your workflow in your team so you can be able to update that status, right? So that's just a simple way how you can update it is by clicking it, right? Like for example, this one that's also in to-do. In this active view, we can also I can also come in here without open the tickets fully and just go to the to do status. And also, I'll just select the in progress or done, right? If it's already done. And in this view, I can definitely select each one of that status and select that. Let's say, for example, I'll put it that it's in progress. So, right away, that status already changed. That status already changed from to do and in progress. Or Move, move it back to the or you you move it to or you just click and drag right so when you click and drag you can also just update status that way by clicking and dragging clicking and dragging so that's how you do it so that's just a simple way how you can update the status and you can update this from the product backlog and you can also update this from the sprint backlog right this is also the sprint backlog so now, without this new update in Jira from a Spring Backlog to if you have this drop down arrow, you don't have to go to the Active Sprint, Active Sprint board for you to also update the status. You can also just select here the drop down arrow and it asks you which status do you want to put your story. Then you select that status and you're able to update it. And it's very important if, as a Scrum Master, if you have a new team members in your, in your team, assess their understanding on, use, on how they know, if they know how to use Jira, right? Learn about that, ask questions, and if they don't know, then you have to do like a, a mini te uh, teaching lesson with them to show them how to use that. That's very, very important. You shouldn't just assume everyone know how to move their tags or update their tags, right? And if you open the ticket fully that, that's been updated or not updated, you look at the history, you can see the status and the flow that have taken that tax from the creation of the story to all the way to done, the whole process you've taken. You see that under the history of the story. So that's just simple way how to update your tax. If this has been valuable, follow Aisha Tech in all social media platforms. Thank you all for watching. See you all again in our next video.